Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we will work on the third logo design in this course. As you see this is the logo design that we will work on. So we start by opening a new page, click on file, new, and as I said we're gonna use the same settings for the whole course and you can select any settings you want. Now we drag the colors and we put them right here. These are the colors that we will be using in drawing or creating the design. Now we go to view, rulers and we show the rulers from here. Now we select the guide and we put it right here. We put it right here. Then we drag the second one and we put it right here. Make sure that it intersects with the lines on the edges. Then we take the space and as you see, we take one metric right here like this, the second one right here. Perfect. Then we put another one from this side, from the lower side. We make another one like this. Perfect. Now, as you see, we have here five lines. Now we drag a second one right here. As you see, we have here approximately one metric and a half. Same thing in here. Perfect. Now we use the pen tool and we draw a box like this. Perfect. It's not the box, but it's a shape. And here we are. There are two ways to draw this kind of shapes. This is the first one that we just used. Or we can use the rectangle tool. First I zoom in. Then we select the rectangle tool. We put it right here. We drag the rulers. We put a ruler in here in the middle. We make sure it's in the center. Perfect. Then we draw another shape in here. We hold the Alt button and we drag it to duplicate it like this. We adjust its size like this. We change its color so that it can be seen different than the other one. We adjust this one a little bit. Then we hold the Alt button and we duplicate this one again like this. We select the whole shape just to be sure. Now we select this one, we use the pen tool and we put a dot in here. Then we use the delete anchor point and we click here, then here. Perfect. Now we select the lower shape, we use the pen tool. We place a dot right here, then we use the delete anchor point tool and we click here to delete this part like this right here. And here we are, this is our shape. We go to window, pathfinder, we click here to merge all the shapes together to create one single shape like this. So as I said, there are two ways. I showed you both ways. You can select any way you like to create this kind of shapes. And of course you can adjust the size and the metrics of the shape in case you change your mind or anything. Now I remove this one and I will keep this one. Now right click right here and I hide the guides. Here we are to hide the rulers. Now I'm going to duplicate the shape. I select the scale tool, double click, and I have here the uniform already checked. I'll make it 200%. We make preview and to see the result, then we click copy, right click, arrange, and send to back to make the bigger shape. On the rear then we click here and we change its color so that we can see it. Now right cl double click again here, we make it 150%, preview to make sure, copy, right click, arrange, 
sent back to make sure that our shape is in the back. Perfect. To make sure that the little shape is always in front so that you can see him as you see. Now we zoom in a little bit. We select the whole shape. I'm gonna select, sorry, I'm gonna select only the two shapes right here. The two big shapes, the large ones. I click here, then right click and I drag toward the inside to make the edges rounded a little bit like this. Perfect. Now I zoom in a little bit. I select this shape. Then I go to the Shape Builder tool. First I'm gonna select the whole shapes and I select the Shape Builder tool. Then I click, I hold the Alt button and I click here to delete the middle shape. And here we are, we have our design like this. Now I select the larger shape like this. I select the Pen tool. And I'm gonna start drawing by making the first dot right here. And another one in here. Make sure it's a straight line. I click enter from the keyboard. Then I'm going to put another dot in here. Again, make sure it's a straight line. Perfect. This is our design so far. Now I'm going to swap the stroke. I only activate the stroke like this, I make it in black, I click here again, I swap the fill with the stroke, and I make it in black again. I select the whole shape like this, perfect. Now I select the shape like this, then I go to the shape builder tool, I hold the odds button and I delete this little part right here. As you see, the edge is clear. Now we go to the lower part and we do the same thing. We select the pen tool and we draw a line like this. We click enter from the keyboard, then we click here and we draw another straight line like this. Perfect. Now we select the shape builder tool. We hold the alt button, but first before I select the shape like this, then we select the shape builder tool, we hold the alt button and we delete the leftovers of the lines from here and from here as well. Perfect. Now I'm gonna delete this line, but first I need to merge the two shapes together. So I hold the alt button and I delete this line like this. I select the shape. I select the shape builder tool, I hold the alt button and I delete this line as well. As you see, I kept the right line from the, from the lower part and the left one from the upper part. Just checking the parts, perfect. Now we adjust the colors. We put the shape right here. And I put the colors right here. Now I select this part, the right part of the design. Then I select the gradient tool. Double click here and I will make it in this color. I select the gradient slider. Then I select this color, perfect. And I adjust it like this. Now we select the left part. We select the gradient tool as well. Perfect. We're almost there. Now I select the whole shape like this. Sorry, first I'm gonna change this color. I use the eyedropper tool to copy this color and paste it to the middle shape. Now I select the whole shape, I remove the stroke and here we are. This is our logo design so far. I put it right here and of course we can add any text we want to the logo design. 
as I said before, the slogan or the logo depends on what are you doing. If you're designing the logo for a certain company or a certain person, you get the idea. Now, for example, we type business in here. Control A to select the text and we adjust the size of the text and we can change the font of the text, of course, from here. You can change the font and the color and the size of the text to anything or any size, color, font you want. This is the final look for our design and it will be it for our video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video to work on the next logo design in our course. Thanks for watching.